pieces can get into, but now I'll take the uh, paintbrush and that will probably help roll the pins around in that housing and keep those good and free. So this one will be good and ready for some more grease here in a few minutes. Some, we'll go wipe it off. And we'll go ahead and throw that stuff back on the motor, heck with it. Oh yeah, good and clean. Telling you guys, super clean is the way to go with cleaning this stuff. You can't go wrong with it. Uh, some guys like to use uh, purple power. Uh, I know Josh Dean down in Hazard. He uh, he's a real well-known driver right here in southeastern Kentucky, and he's actually the guy to help me got started in kart racing. And uh, I'm be forever grateful for him because it's been a blast. It's been awesome. And uh, I'm glad he gave me the opportunity to drive one of his carts up at uh, Mountaineer Cartway at Ison one weekend and uh, wouldn't even expect him to drive, but here we are, uh, a little over a year later or whatnot, still racing. And uh, we appreciate you, Josh. I love you, brother. Um, get all this stuff cleaned up. I mean, there's so many other guys that's had a good influence on me with this cart racing so far and i'll forever be grateful for them from all you know josh dean uh double d dean hoskins uh give me a lot of great advice and he helped me get my detailing started so i'll forever be grateful to him too for that and uh harold gray has been such a good inspiration for me and uh has given me great advice over this past little bit since I've been kart racing with him and David and uh, can't thank him enough, love him to death. Great guy, awesome racer and he knows what he's talking about. Harold can get out there, I don't care how old he is, he can get out there and will it with anybody, he's good. David's just a real talented, good man of God and a great driver. I'm excited to see where his future's gonna go with this kart racing and stuff and then uh, Denver Varney over there at Little Pine. He's a great driver. I've had so much fun racing against him. James Dials, Jesse Ison. I've been racing against Jesse since I first started 40 over up at Ison. Great guy, good racer. He likes to drive that baby hard, and so do I. <laughs> Leroy Akers gave me a lot of good advice. You know, don't move your head, don't move your head. You're gonna throw the handling off, and I still pay attention to that, Leroy. I don't know if you're watching this, but. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all you guys. Anybody, I mean, anybody that's talked to me since I've been in racing up here in these carts and uh, really want to thank Randall and Diane, you know, for just keeping on at it and keeping us a place to race. I mean, I know Mountaineers closed down or whatnot and we'd all probably still like to be going up there, but you know, stuff changes and we got to change with it, you know, sometimes. And Mountaineer is a good, good example of why racing is a big part of our culture here in Southeastern Kentucky. Mountain Motor Speedway has been running probably one of the longest running racetracks in the state of Kentucky. And so many good drivers over the years have got their start up there. And so many good drivers that got their start up there started in the carts up at Mountaineer Cartway. And I mean, there's been tons of good drivers come from out of this area. So we just want to see racing stay alive and keep growing. It's like I was saying before, uh, we want, we want you know, to make it to where young people have something to strap or to get into. Yeah, it costs a little bit of money to race, but I mean, it costs a little bit of money to do anything you do. And, uh, why not spend the money on your passion, you know, if you can, and just put it out there and see what happens. You know, go go for what you want to do. I like. I want to race. I'm on. I'm gonna keep on racing as long as I can. Uh, I love it, and uh, I want to be able to share with everybody what it's like to go to actually go racing. You know, for me, it was just a. It was always a dream to go race something, even if it is go-karts. I don't know. To me, it's I'm out there, and I'm serious as I can be racing that thing. I try to be as smooth as I can be and 
race as respectful as I can with people on the track because I don't want to hurt nobody and I don't want to see nobody tear their equipment up because it costs money to get it fixed and race ready anyways and I want to see everybody go out there and have fun and have good runs. I mean, that's what we're out there for. Let's go out there and have some fun and let's go out there and race.